I'm Leon Kolaski, and I'm here with a good friend and client of mine, Brittany Brown from Beating Binge Eating. Uh, Brittany and I have been working together for almost four years now, and we're here today to share her customer journey video and working with myself and my agency. So welcome, Brittany. Hey, what's up? Excited to be here. <laughs> Thank you very much. So when you first think of Leon Kolaski, what comes to mind? I mean, so we go way back beyond just like business strategy, right? So we started as friends, um, but yeah, strategy, support, help, everything from Facebook marketing and business growth and strategy, because you kind of came into our organization after I had just been going a year or two, you know, um, to just talking me off the ledge sometimes, some mindset support, some crisis help. Yeah, you've, you've definitely been a support system for our whole journey of growing our company. That's great. And tell me a little bit about what your business looked like before I started working with you. Yeah, so we had like the the sales piece of our business dialed in. So we do like anyone that comes into our company in the beginning was just via like phone phone enrollment. So that part we had really dialed in. We had our program, we had everything, and my organic social media marketing just started slowing. Our email list response started slowing, and so really wanted to. Exp I think I tried running Facebook ads myself and all the tracking. <laughs> The ideas of the ads were great. The tracking, I, I think I called you immediately. I was like, how the heck do I do this? And that's when you came in. <laughs> and uh, so just to give people a little bit of context of the, not exactly what you do, but more like the structure of your business. Like yeah. how does somebody you know, find out about you? Uh, what does your sales process look like? Totally. So, I mean, we help women that struggle with binge eating. So they're finding about us through our blog, through YouTube, through our email marketing, through our Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube, Google ads, um, any kind of just social media or paid traffic, basically. Um, and then they're coming to us either through a video training, an audio training, a guide, but mainly the, this video training that we've been doing for years, um, or webinars. And then through that process, they're either getting nurtured to book a call or eventually booking a call with us. And then, you know, we're doing basically a mid to high ticket sales on the phone to get them in our uh, eight to 12 week program, basically. Mm -hmm. And is there anything in working with me that has surprised you, like maybe exceeded your expectations? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you want me to say this. I don't know if you want all your clients having you on call, but like I'll call him at like 1130 at Saturday. I don't know if You're everyone should do okay, You're I'm the, the only, only one. one. Um, so that's been really helpful. Uh, you know, um, definitely helping me synthesize all my ideas into like what's the next yeah, we have these 20 ideas, but what do we need to do this next month or 90 days to make this thing happen? Um, so yeah, just I think when I came to, I thought it would be mainly Facebook support, and then it's just grown into this thing where you're helping me with strategy and planning and, and that kind of thing. So that definitely exceeded my expectations for sure. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about any recent successes that we've had? Yeah, so, um, so recent we ran a challenge that did really well. He was on me to run this challenge for a year, maybe. <laughs> a year. Yes. Um, and yeah, I mean, we enrolled over 700 women in the challenge. I don't know the exact number, but the women that came into our program after that were still enrolling. It's not closed yet. I think we're at about 55, which was incredible. Um, so, you know, and also, too, the challenge just built so much rapport and so much transformation and allowed us to serve our people at a capacity that wasn't as high of an investment, which made me feel really good, too, um, to be able to serve kind of more of the masses. And I think it really, people that were on the fence about us are skeptical because there is a lot of skepticism in the online coaching world, especially in our space. They're buying diets and things like that that fail. So that 30-day nurturing and the challenge really allowed them to trust us. And um, yeah, it's just been, it's been a beautiful process. Even the enrollment calls after the challenge have been just, it's like talking to a friend that we're like taking them on the next step of their journey versus a sales call type thing. So it's been mm -hmm. great. Yeah, and kind of that process is really designed to build rapport. Yeah. Because once you have that rapport, sales really no longer become sales. It's just effortless. It's just yeah. like, does this fit for you? And uh, can you afford it? Mm -hmm. How can you afford how it? Can, how can you afford it? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And as part of that process uh, with going through that, I mean, that's probably, you don't have to share the exact numbers, but that's probably a multiple six figure launch just from that 30 day period of time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So right under double six figures probably is what <laughs> is what it will be. And I mean, what almost 800 lives changed, you know, yeah. like really, really impacted. So, you know, that's always exciting for and, sure. And by doing that process, did you also get reengaged in your business? Like what did that do for you, yeah. you know, outside of just uh, helping others? Yeah. So that's actually a great point. So our model has been like very automated. 
um, for a while. And I've had ups and downs with just my health and things like that. So it's kind of just what I had to do to keep everything consistent and serve in the way that we wanted to. Um, but what I noticed is sometimes I'd feel a little disconnected from the market that we were serving because I had been running very similar type offering for what, since we started four working years, together, yeah, four years, yeah. To. So this whole process of the challenge just like reinvigorated me, it got me reconnected to everyone. Um, there was just a buzz of all the women enrolling at the same time that was really beautiful. Yeah, and so now my brain's ticking and I'm ready to go into 2020 and have all kinds of ideas for that too. Awesome. So, mm -hmm. And uh, do you feel that my skill set can help people in other industries? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I don't. You're in all kinds of industries. <laughs> I don't even know half the stuff he does, from like ecom to I'll, I'll mention this thing I did seven years ago. He's like, yeah, I ran a sales floor that was five times that size. <laughs> um, so yeah, sales, ecom, you're in vitamins, um, personal development, hypnotherapy. I really can't think of an industry that you probably couldn't serve. You have business coaching clients, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So. Yeah, and you know a lot of different people, so I feel like if you were unfamiliar with an area, you have a huge circle and a ton of resources to tap into people that would be experts and very mm -hmm. familiar with it, so. What would you tell somebody that is thinking about working with myself and my agency? So I say do it, um, you know, I and one thing too, like uh, Jeremy who runs your, um, who helps with all like the landing pages and stuff, I mean, he was like getting on a boat for his honeymoon and something was wrong with the cart and he was calling me and you know like they really are invested to making things happen and you know it wasn't their fault that I decided to launch something in seven days and we had to do everything in seven days to make it happen and when as soon as I was like let's do this it was like all hands on deck to make it happen in my corner supporting me um, you know Yasmin the other people on the team even if I was like scared about our spend or scared at what we were doing because it was a new way of doing something that I've never done before, they were like, you know, talking me through it, making sure I was good, <laughs> communicating when it was probably annoying to communicate with me. Um, yeah, and so I think, you know, strategy-wise, you have so much knowledge of different industries and you're good there. And then also just support. I think support and mindset is as or more important than strategy with a lot of this stuff. And I feel like you guys have done a really good job of, even if I'm pivoting, like, supporting me mentally with the, mm -hmm. <laughs> with the pivot and the fears and stuff that come up. So yeah, I would highly, highly, highly encourage someone to work with you and your team. They've, they've been amazing. Mm, thank you. Yeah. And is there anything that you wish you would have done sooner? Um, I mean, the challenge I wish I would have done sooner, of course. Uh, wish I would have done sooner. Yeah, I, I do wish, like, I think we've been fully capable to, capable of getting something a little more automated um, that doesn't involve phone sales that's just kind of always rolling and I've, I've just been kind of leaning back on that because I knew it would take you know quite a lot of work and I didn't know if I wanted to like go there I wanted to kind of perfect what we were doing but if there's anything I'd want to do next or kind of wish we had going it would be it would be that but we've tested it it's like right there we just mm -hmm. gotta automate it, Execute. automate it and make it happen <laughs> so yeah <laughs> very good and if you were to think of three words that describe me and my team, what would those three words be? Three words. Um, I mean, I've said the word support, supportive like a hundred times, but I think that's probably a good one. Supportive. Um, you're a therapist at some point, but I don't know if that's the word I'd give you. Let's see. Um, supportive. I don't know what the word is, but there's like a driving forward energy. Like sometimes I'll be maybe overwhelmed with fulfillment or something else, and they're still... You guys are still trying to move the ship forward, even if I'm like, ah, I don't know if I can right now. Um, so I don't know what that word is. Um, it's not motivating. It's it's like it's like a driving force in the progression. business. Progression. Yeah. Progression. Yeah. There you go. Um, so pro uh, supportive progression, and then um, also strategic. I think that there's things that I might not even know that you're thinking of different pieces of the puzzle and how that's going to impact the entire process. And um, yeah, I think you're, that's one of your superpowers is you're really good at looking at the impact of even like a small action now, how that's going to impact the clients, the customers, the psychology, the enrollment, the pieces of the ads, the journey of the customer, just all of that. I think you're, you're good at looking at all, all the pieces. Hmm. So. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to share your story and hopefully this can help some other people out there that are looking to work with us. Yeah, Thank you. No problem.